Hello and welcome to Dynasty Warriors 5, Mode of Destiny! Psh. This is a mode unique to Dynasty Warriors 5 Extreme Legends and sadly not found in any installment since. And it's a fun way to create a character and take them from zero to hero. So you're here to try and bring an end to the chaos. Yes, you appear to possess considerable talent indeed. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, I'm guessing that the answer is the Overseer, the Overseer, the Overseer, or the Overseer. Okay. What name do you go by in this world? You know, I've always felt sorry for Mega Man's little sister. She gets overlooked as the optional component in Rock and or Roll in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. She defines her own tier below the bottom of the barrel, much like Yoshimoto Imagawa and Warriors Orochi. So, the theme of this Destiny mode shall be Roll's Redemption. Forgive an old man for asking, but what gender? Hmm. Wow, we have a whopping ten options to choose from on the top and bottom here. Got little pigtails, got some mullets, got some ponytails and such, so let's go with the adorable mini buns. And for the face, got some cool scars, got this little innocent face here, a sexy mole, bindi, makeup. So where's the... there are a couple actually. Let's go with this one. How would you describe your body type? Tiny! What would you say your voice sounds like? Well, I'm just a young robot getting started in battle for the first time, so probably innocent. By the way, what type of weapon are you most familiar with? Now, we'll only be using this for one battle, but the choice can make life a bit easier. The sword has somewhat short reach. The spear has long reach and sweeping attacks. The pike has long reach, but it also has this annoying backwards poke as its third attack. So, spear it is. Finally, whom do you wish to serve? Well, I think the obvious answer here is my big brother, Mega Man! Indeed. Would you say this describes you accurately? Excellent. You appear to have extraordinary potential. However, whether you realize that potential is all up to how you live your life. It will be interesting to see how you choose. Now, when I say we go from zero to hero, I'm not kidding at all. I start out with a two-hit combo. That's it. Seriously, everything else you need to buy. Which, of course, is the entire Joy of Destiny mode. So my goal in this first battle is to get to the point where I can buy this fire attack to burn bases. Now for that, I need a promotion, which means I need to do well when contributing to my <laughs> commander's unit. But I also need to have 60 points by the next battle. So I want to conserve as many points as possible and just go with this basic three-hit combo. And saving is good. Let's save the game. And now we shall depart. We shall join the coalition against the Yellow Turbans and march on their base in Xi. Our target is the Yellow Turban leader, Zhang Zhao. The Yellow Turbans are mere peasants who cannot hope to compete against our elite troops. Once we finish them, the land will come to know our names. The name's Kao Rin. I'm the one that holds this unit together. I want you to help us realize our Lord's ambitions and bring an end to the chaos. We must eliminate the enemy officer. If we do, then their troops will no longer have the will to fight. Even in times of chaos, the fewer blood and tears shed, the better. Badass with a heart. That's my big brother. It's time to prepare for battle. I shall be watching to see how you respond to what is asked of you out there. Time to go make Dr. Light proud. All right, the objective screen. Um, I get two of these at this 
low level that I am, and these are critical for earning points to buy more abilities. So we're going to go with Enemy KO, which is an easy-peasy no-brainer, and hopefully achieve victory in 12 minutes. That's a pretty generous time limit for the small level. Now, finding letters is annoying to do early on because it requires that you hunt down messengers, which appear randomly. Later on, you can buy the interrogate ability or get it from your commander if you're serving one who awards it to you, which will have letters drop from random peons, which makes this a much more doable objective. Now, since I don't like relying on randomness to get my points for my base burnination, I'm going to just keep this simple. Conditions, pretty simple. Um, we're gonna work our way up and defeat this dude over here. So let's get on the road here. We shall lead the attack. Follow me. First, you must learn to stay within the unit. Come on, little red dots. Mop it up. Yeah, lieutenants are nice because they are officers and they count as officer KOs. But they're easier to defeat than the generics you'll see accompanying officers later on. Oh, eh. Great, I forgot how to... Eh, yep. Yeah, it would sure help if I blocked, wouldn't it? There we go. One unique feature of Destiny Mode that you don't see in the standard gameplay is there are a lot more officer pileups. Officer defeated. Hey. Hey, health is good. Which can become a real pain later on. But luckily you also get some abilities to balance it out. Need to rack up some KOs here. Another thing I miss about the old games is enemy formations. Like these archers and their elite archer. Infantry and majors. Guards and elite guards. Rather than these identical fields of cannon fodder that you see in the newer games. introductory level is introductory and boring. It's not so bad. It helps you get into the swing of things. Each kingdom has the same selection of eight stages in Destiny mode. They all start off with the Yellow Turban Rebellion and diverge after that. It's entertaining because each officer in the game was from a different part of Three Kingdoms timeline, or rather, they come from different different parts of the timeline. Remaining here does us no good. Let's but they all moving. start here, even though when this whole campaign happened around uh, 184 AD, Sauron was still a young whippersnapper, not yet leading troops in a professional capacity. He had this army of youth that he gathered to travel around the nearby rivers, but he didn't actually join South Sal during until sometime around the campaigns against Dong Zhuo. It's especially entertaining to see somebody from really late in the game, the enemy like Xing Sai of Shu, fighting all the way back from the Yellow Turban Rebellion. But it's a game, not exactly historical serious business with all those laser beams that they totally used back then for reals. No, seriously, they did. 
in this magical shield of a weapon. But these games were my gateway drug into historical serious business. Enemy officer defeated. Just because I wanted to piece more of the timeline together and I'm curious about what my favorite characters were like in real life. And sure, Zhang Hei wasn't twirling in clouds of butterflies. Weiyun probably wasn't speaking in monosyllables behind a mask. Or twirling with a double-edged bulge. But some characters actually have some reasonably believable personalities. I feel like decent modern extrapolations of what they might have been like in real life. Enemy officer defeated. And especially all your serious business like Shaho Dune and Zhang Liao. It can pretty much take any flavor of I'm a reasonably realistic looking tough guy. And that works. We're almost done here. Got a bunch of KOs. Got our KO objective handily. And victory's at hand. And I'm losing the enemy because I'm silly. There we go. All done. Yes, this is the kind of effort I like to see. Yeah, I'm totally warding off the chaos with the palm of my hand there. Yeah, good military rating. Zero strategy rating because I don't have any reliable way to get that yet. But it's all good, as you can see. I'm surprised at your efforts out there and that you were able to even stay alive. As a reward for your hard work, I'm going to promote you for the next battle. Woohoo! Got the promotion! Sergeant Slaughter. This pairing of shield and sword that I wield has not been used for ages. However, I think you will find it a most effective combination. Give it a try for yourself. Eh. Boo to the light weapon weight. Um, hooray to speed attack and charge. This is a reasonable starter weapon. And the attack bonus should somewhat balance out the damage nerf from the lightweight. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff.